Warm good morning to one and all. We, the students of Vishujodhi College of Engineering and Technology, Department of Civil Engineering, Batch 2017-21, are proudly presenting our final year project on the topic Drainage Rehabilitation at Kuchi Corporation. We are a group of four members. Amina Rafiq, Namida Binu, Samad Adil Emman, and myself, Alina Shaju. When we have started looking for a topic for our final year project, we always wanted to make sure that the project should be beneficial for the public welfare. Then we came to notice the waterlogging problems in the recent times. But it was necessary for us to pick up an area where we could propose solutions for the waterlogging problems. Then we began looking for areas where the flood seriously strikes the public. And this research have entered in Kuchi. One main reason for the rapid urban flooding in Kochi is the unscientific construction of drains. Most of the drains are cloaked and the water is in a complete stagnant state. And that is the reason for the waterlogging in many areas. During rainfall, since the water is not at all flowing in drains, water starts overflowing from the drains and the entire city can get waterlogged within minutes. If a proper slope was provided to the drains, this situation won't happen. So we have decided to calculate a proper slope for the drains by taking Shanmugam rod stretch as our study area. In order to find out the slope of the drain, it is very much important to determine the amount of water flowing through the drain. That is, we have to find the amount of storm water that is supposed to flow from the different catchments during a storm. For calculating the design flow, we used rational formula which is an empirical relation between rainfall intensity and peak flow that is widely accepted by hydraulic engineers. I, Namita Binu, handled the calculation of subcatchment areas as well as the runoff coefficient for those subcatchments. As you can see in the image, the entire catchment was divided into four according to its topographic features. The center line in the image represents the center of the road. Using the software Google Earth Pro, the different areas of the subcatchments were calculated and using IRC SP50 2013, the runoff coefficients were calculated. Hi, I am Samad. My role in this project includes calculation of time of concentration and the plotting of IDF curve. Time of concentration is the longest time required for a drop of water to flow from the farther point of catchment area to the point of concentration. From the image, a is the farthermost point from the drain and the time of concentration in this case is the time for a drop of water to flow from A to B. The time of concentration were calculated from Kirpich formula. In order to find out the rainfall intensity, IDF curve was needed. From the rainfall data obtained from Cochin Corporation, the IDF curve was plotted in log scale. I, Amina Refik, have formulated an equation for calculating rainfall intensity from IDF curve. Based on the concept of equation of line, the equation connecting rainfall intensity and time of concentration were found. One of the important practical application of our project is this equation. Using this equation, rainfall intensities can be found out for any region in Ernakulam district. After calculating design discharge, the slope was found from Manning's equation. With certain assumptions derived from IRC 50 2013, the slope for drains in catchment 1, 2, 3 and 4 were found. Conclusion This study was conducted to evaluate the hydraulic efficiency of drainage channel. The water logging in the city was mainly due to insufficient existing sections and the lack of proper slope. This method of designing stormwater drains is not only limited to Cochin City, but for any other region with its own rainfall intensity and time of concentration, the procedure remains the same.